morning. Welcome back to the channel. I went ahead and pulled some orders so we can get everything ready to package up and ship it out. So let's check out what sold. All right, so I don't even know. This did not sell. This is being put aside for my son. His birthday is coming up. So whenever I'm out and about, I try to scoop up stuff for him, like definitely books and stuff just because, um, you know, it's cheaper than buying it new. Like these dog man books, I put them somewhere. But he's in love with these dog man books and we just bought him one at the book fair. It was like 20 something dollars. I get them for a dollar or two dollars at yard sales all the time. So, all right, let's see what we got. The first thing we have are vintage Lefton, Lefton, Japanese ceramic, boy and girl little candle holders they're numbered on the bottom these sold for $20 plus shipping I did have them listed a little higher but I'm you know I'm taking offers around here we actually listed these and they sold within like 12 hours which I wasn't gonna get these I didn't know anything about them but I grabbed them last minute at a garage sale I saw them and I was just like these look cool so I grabbed them we paid a dollar for them and they sold within like 12 hours coincidentally enough we also bought these salt and pepper shakers numbered on the bottom vintage left in Japanese ceramic whatever little boy and girl angel salt and pepper shakers these sold for $23 plus shipping. We also paid a dollar for them. And these sold within like two days or something. So both of these sets were sold within two or three days combined for, that would be $2 into $43. So if you ever see those little angels or really like any vintage stuff that looks different and kind of weird or hand painted or if it's like numbered on the bottom, I try to look it up. Just look it up. Um, the other thing, another thing that sold is the Mother of Dragons stainless steel tumbler that went for $12.15 plus shipping. It is like, it's after 11.30. I usually record my videos before like 8 a.m. It's after 11.30. I feel like I've got nothing done. I'm all discombobulated today. My dogs are sick and that's been a mess. I just like can't get focused. I'm very like all over the place today, which for me is odd. But anyways, um, and then the GoPro, me and this GoPro, we just don't get along. I can't figure out how the video, it looks like my videos get broken up into 10 minute segments somehow. And then I charge, I have this little battery pack thing. I don't know if you can even see that on the camera, but it has three batteries and then you plug it in and it charges the batteries. It'll tell me like all the batteries are fully charged and I'll turn the camera on and it'll say I have 10%. I'll record with the 10% to see how far I can go and I'll look at it later and it'll be at like 80%. So I don't know. I think I have the GoPro 10, I think. I don't know. I can't figure this thing out, but I'm not very like tech savvy. That's Adam's area. The next thing that sold, we grabbed this um, at the estate sale, I think. In one of my previous videos, we paid a dollar for it. Sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And we listed ours low because it is in really rough condition. So I know some people are put off about the Bibles, but I'm getting someone a discounted, very old vintage Bible. I think this is from like the 60s or it might be 73, something like that. And they're getting a good deal on it. Um, I will never pick up a Bible for free though and resell it. I will always pay for it if I know that I'm going to be reselling it. Um, anyways, and then my son's birthday is coming up and we're going on vacation this weekend and my dogs are sick and it's just like a hodgepodge of everything. I do have an update. I got my graphics card back that was intercepted. So that was really nice um, that it did finally come back because once it showed that it was intercepted, there was no updates on the USPS website. So I was kind of like, what is happening here? The next thing that sold is this NASCAR. It's like a tin sign. This sold for $18.04 plus shipping. We got this in that massive first lot that we got of all the stuff. 
and so we probably paid like a dollar for it. I do wish I knew that I even had this sign because for Elijah's birthday, he wants his room redone. I asked him like, what do you want for your birthday? And he said, I want a challenger blanket and a challenger pillow. Like the Dodge Challenger, the Hellcat. He's like obsessed with them for some reason. We don't have one. We don't know anything about them. So this is all from like school and his friends talking about it. But when he said he wanted a new blanket and a new pillow, I know that that means like he's outgrown his very cute little dinosaur room that I did for him. And he now wants a challenger room. So I'm gonna like kind of redo it for his birthday. And I've been like looking at racing stuff like this to buy for decoration. And here I had one sitting in my house, but it's fine. It's sold and it sold for $18, which will help me spend $18 on a new sign, which makes no sense, but it's fine. Um, the next thing that sold are these, I'm not going to try to say them because I really don't want to be like disrespectful, but it's a... I guess it's like a clicker or a timer or something for pray praying. It's called a digital Tosh B finger counter. I don't know. But I sold the two of them together for $10. This wasn't great. I paid a dollar or two a piece for these. But I've had them listed for so long that I just accepted an offer for $10 to get them out of here like I've probably had these listed since last October so at this point I was just get them out uh the next thing that we sold is the Turvis Fiesta Sunny Stripe this is the larger one the 24 ounce in the plastic tumbler with lid for $13.99 um oh also with the graphics card Bonanza finally refunded me my fees after like the fourth or fifth attempt with them so they refunded me my fees and um i closed my store down i removed all my listings i canceled my store i mean everyone should try it if you want to try it if it works for you nothing against them i decided against selling on bonanza because i was kind of put off by the whole situation i get that there's scammers out there and there's very little you can do um but my concern was more so with the how Bonanza handled it and the lack of seller protection on Bonanza. I mean, my first email, I went into detail of this whole situation and explained it to them. And their response was basically, oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that that happened. There's not much we can do. And I'm just kind of, I don't love that. I don't love that. And then the whole rigmarole with the trying to get my fees back. Like it's an option on their thing. You can click a button that's like request a refund on your fees or something. But it took me going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And I had to put a request in five separate times before I finally got the fees refunded. So that whole, just how it was handled is why I didn't want to continue selling on Bonanza. But to each his own. Some people do good on Bonanza. The next thing that sold are these Stacy Adam uh, like wingtip shoes in a size 11 and a half. I got these for $1. They sold on sale for $28.79. And that's a really good deal for someone. Like they're really not in bad condition. They need a little wipe off and stuff. But if how often do you wear dress shoes you buy them for like one occasion or you wear them once a year to that special occasion so 28 bucks for those and i bought them for a dollar uh the next thing that sold this actually sold on poshmark i think i had it listed for 50 let me see let me see my gopro situation is still like i didn't expect to and maybe some of you can help me if you know more than I do, but I kind of thought I would be able to highlight everything or select everything and just move it over into my drive. It doesn't work that way. I mean, you can, but it doesn't load properly for me. Um, so I have to upload them one at a time. And then for me, I've done like, I don't know, three or four videos with my GoPro so far. I did five. So I did two videos like this, two thrifting videos and one of the baseball cards which side note really quick 
I know I'm all over the place, but my 25 cards are in the assembly stage with PSA. So they should be coming back any day now. Hopefully this week they get sent back. But anyways, so I'm having to upload them one at a time, but I was expecting to go onto the file and there'd be five videos and there's not, there's like 40. And some of them were Adam tinkering with it when we first got it and like taking pictures and like trying to record to see how it all works cause that's what he does. But then the rest are like my 40 minute video broken up into 10 sections and I can't preview it. So I'm just having to like upload them all one at a time, one at a time, one at a time, whatever. Um, okay, so this I had listed for 60, sorry, it is new with tags, vintage American Needle Florida State, um, and I accepted an offer of $45 plus shipping, and that was on Poshmark, so I do still cross list to other platforms. Now with Poshmark, I think I mentioned in a previous video that it was what I was doing was just dragging and dropping my pictures over and then copying and pasting my information into the thing and then listing it would take me like one minute. I don't know what happened, but about two weeks ago, you can no longer just drag your pictures from eBay into Poshmark. It says that it's not supported. So I haven't been cross listing over there because I'm the type of person that once I list the item, I delete the picture. I do not keep my pictures. I list and delete, list and delete. And so now I can't just copy my eBay pictures or drag my eBay pictures over into Poshmark. So I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I am still doing Mercari because they've made it easier where you just put the URL on there. Maybe Poshmark should do something like that, just saying, but. Um, all right, the next thing that sold, which is really cool is this. I got another one that's a skinny rectangle. But this also sold within a day of listing it for $19.99 and I paid a dollar a piece for each of them. Maybe $2, I don't know, it's probably on one of my videos. Uh, but $19.99 it sold plus shipping and it's just got like these dried um, butterflies and like flowers and stuff in there. But it's the Brasilia Collection by Dunstan and it's made in Brazil, both of them are that I got. So I thought that was really cool. I've seen like homeschooling picker and part-time picker pick up like the dried butterflies and stuff before. So when I saw them and they were so cheap, I figured I'd take a chance on them. I didn't really know how to price them because it was hard to find like the exact thing because obviously there's not the exact thing. So I just went for $19.99 on both of them and that one sold very fast. The next item that may or may not blow your mind Oh wait, one more, hold on. This sold for $49.99 plus shipping. This is a NFL Minnesota Vikings large tire cover. I've not had the best of luck with these if you guys don't remember the Tennessee Volunteers guy. But the last item that I have, not very many sales today surprisingly, is um this, okay? The Nightmare Collection digitally remastered scary savings so it's got one two three four five six seven seven of the nightmare on elm street type of movies vhs this is still sealed adam picked this up for three dollars and then went to pay the guy and he didn't have change so we actually only paid two dollars for it two dollars for this some VHS sells guys because this sold the same night I listed it for $149.99. $150 for this. We paid two bucks for it. Nightmare on Elm Street. We have heard that like horror sells really good because we're not very experienced in the VHS and what DVDs even to look for and stuff like that. So if they're cheap, sometimes we'll try to grab a few, but we tend to know that horror, if anything is gonna do good, it's gonna be like a horror VHS. So we went ahead and picked it up because it's still sealed and it's pretty cool, but we were not expecting $150. This thing sold very fast, $150. It's funny because I got an offer for like $85 and 10, I declined it because that was very low if it's listed for 150. But like 10 minutes later, someone bought it full price, didn't even send an offer. So that was pretty cool. 
that's really like all the orders that I have for today not a ton of orders um I am I did just put my store back on sale so my store sale ended two days ago and it was still a good week every week has been good every week has been over a thousand dollars which for me and my store is good and um so i went ahead and just put my store back on sale again and we're gonna keep it going i'm gonna like if it's not broke don't fix it i'm gonna keep going keep testing this theory out see if having it on sale all the time works see if you can do like a long sale or if it needs to like end and restart end and restart so that people think that oh i have to buy this now if i want this deal but i will definitely keep updating you guys on that and i really hope that the next video has my baseball card reveal um i've been anxiously waiting it feels like it's been nine months or something it hasn't but they did receive them in april and it's now june so it has been a long time but i'm very excited to see what the grades come back share that with you guys Get those bad boys listed and going. Fingers crossed on my Derek Jeters and my Ozzy Smith. And we'll see how all of that goes. And then I can continue going through all of this to find more winners that I can send into PSA to anxiously wait for those. And I will reveal all that for you. I'm trying to kind of keep it as a ripple effect because grading the cards is not very cheap. Um, so that we send some and then when we get them back, we sell a couple, send more and kind of just keep that rhythm going. So that's where we're at with the baseball cards and, um, everything going on over here. And I know it's a pretty short video, but that's all we have for today. So until next time, guys.